Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Lisa Jewell's The Family Upstairs. Today I'm gonna to be doing my first ever three minute thriller review for Lisa Jewell's book, The Family Upstairs. In this video, I'm going to do my best to give you a quick recommendation, spoiler free, of the book and if I think this is worth picking up. So the book starts out with a young professional woman named Libby, who for all intents and purposes is a normal 20 something woman. And on her 25th birthday, she gets a pretty big surprise. And that is she has inherited a house. And it's not just any house, but she has inherited a multi million dollar mansion that is basically the equivalent of a huge lottery ticket. Now the story is multi POV and it tells the story of Libby and the other people who have lived in the house and ultimately how the house kind of has gone through some creepy stuff in order to ultimately come to Libby. Now, what did I think about this book? Well, on Goodreads, I gave it a solid four stars and I will put my Goodreads information down in the description. And here's why. I thought the book was very fast paced. It was very entertaining. Um, I always kind of wanted to pick up the book, especially because it did cycle through multiple perspectives. And so I think that kept things interesting where you were always kind of at the edge of your seat waiting to get back to those other characters. And I thought that aspect of things was very effective. So why did I not give this book a full five stars? Well, there was two reasons. Number one, there were a few plot twists and kind of plot points that just felt out of place. Like I want to be surprised by a good plot twist, but at the end of the day, I want to say to myself, wow, I should have seen that coming. It was right in front of my face the whole time. But a few plot things that happened that I, they just weren't believable for me. Like they just didn't quite make sense for me. And then the other thing is I feel like there were some creepy things that the author Lisa Jewell could have gone even further. Like I feel like this book was kind of dark, but it wasn't super dark. To be honest, I characterize this more as like a fun read. I feel like this book could have gone even further and even darker, to be honest, but that's just my opinion. So overall, I would say I highly recommend this if you are looking for a solid, entertaining thriller. It's not perfect, but I really enjoyed my reading experience and I think you probably will too. So that's it. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye guys.